Hey everybody. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. So, this is Damiana. I am your Monday hostess for Witchcrafting, and I wanted to show you a craft today. I hope the light's not too low. Um, I, I, with something I just made up today fairly quickly, you know how crafts go, sometimes they're quick, sometimes they're really long and involved. This was a really quick one I put together. I had gotten an idea when I saw these. These are metal. These are actually galvanized tin um, hearts that I purchased a three pack of at Target this morning. It was like three dollars for the three, the pack of three. And I got an idea when I saw them first to um, try to antique them a little bit, distress them a little bit by setting them in water. Um, galvanization techniques on metal are, are different so I'm not sure if that'll work or not but anyway I didn't have time after I got them to experiment with a couple of days for it and leave them sitting in a pan of water to see if it worked before I showed you this craft so um, these sigils that I uh, drew up and antique the paper for and stuck on or just stuck on with scotch tape I will remove them and then try to distress these before I actually hang them up. But what they are, of course, is a decoration for Valentine's Day. And if you check out Target, like I said, three bucks, you get three of these. If you don't have a Target, of course you could use any kind of, you know, you can, you can buy sheets of galvanized tin, buy yourself some nice uh, metal shears, and uh, for not very expensive, and actually make these yourselves. Um, but you can make them out of just paper, cardboard, you know, whatever you'd like. And um, do something like what October did. She got herself some nice uh, frames from a store, a set of three for not very expensive. I loved her craft. And she, she works a lot with images, you know, uh, do something like that. But this is uh, essentially really simple sort of sigil craft for Valentine's Day. Um, and with, to me, recognition that we're still at the beginning of the year. Um, so these are things that I wanted to keep in mind as the year goes through. But specifically for Valentine's Day, these are sigils that I got off the internet. I usually make them myself, but I was working quickly today um, to get this video done. Um, of the basically the three different kinds of love that you could concentrate on, um, that you might want to invite into your life. So for me, these are sort of the love of family, the love of your child. Um, to me, that comes first. Your, your, um, that kind of, you know, unbreakable, unconditional sort of bond. We have a sigil more for world peace. And again, I did not design any of these sigils. I usually do, but these were taken from um, the internet, from, from Google, actually, and I really liked the look of these in particular. So this is for more for world peace, and I love the Asian sort of styling of this particular uh, sigil here. Uh, and then we have something here for actually uh, sexual or romantic, you know, passionate love um, that you would have between a couple. So. What the thinking was again with these hearts was that I am going to hang them all up probably above the altar for uh, Valentine's Day and maybe even beyond with the idea of bringing, you know, having that reminder in front of you in your spiritual space to kind of bring, invite those energies in. And I like the idea of three, the three separate for the three different kinds of, of love we basically experience. So again, these are just taped on, okay? With just a, a single rolled up piece of scotch tape on each. You could leave them that way so that you could do something different with the hearts next year or in a different season. Obviously, these could be used at any time for any Sabbath. Um, but I'm going to try to distress these. I will probably post pictures on my own personal channel, which I will link a li leave a link below to. Um, after, you know, if I have success uh, aging them with, with uh, letting them rust a little bit in some water or what have you. Um, before I go, and I hope you enjoy, I hope you enjoy this craft. Of course, as always, let me know if you do do it, if you like it. Um, I do have to let you know that this is um, actually going to be my last video for Witchcrafting. I have decided to leave the channel. I am not by any means leaving YouTube anytime soon. 
I am going to be posting videos as much as I ever did just on my own channel. I will still be uploading crafts that I do, probably not one a week, but I will be uploading crafts. I will be doing the same thing I have always done. And I want to wish all my sisters on Witchcrafting a, an amazing go for a second season. I want to thank everyone and especially Meg for coming up with the channel. Um, it has been an amazing run and it's just, you know, there's a time and a place for everything. And it is my time to, to duck out. And I want to uh, say a, a big warm wel welcome again to Stacy or Aquarius Crafts for joining. And I know that you all are going to absolutely love everything she uploads as, you know, everybody else on the channel is just, you all are some amazing witches, let me tell you. And you all are some amazing viewers leaving some amazing feedback too. So I'm not going anywhere, but again, I'll leave my link to my personal channel in the bottom, in the, the doobly-doos, <laughs> so that uh, we can keep in contact if you are not yet subscribed to me. So thank you very much again to Meg, to all my sisters on the channel, to all of you watching. And uh, I wish all of you peace, love, and enormous blessings. Thank you. Bye.